The Laplace and eigenmap algorithm generates an embedding of possibly non-vectorial data in a vector space that respects similarity relationships between data items. As an example, consider these six data items, which could be words or graphs or anything for which you can define a similarity between two items. For simplicity, we consider here only a binary similarity measure, meaning that two items are either similar or not. If they are similar, we draw an edge between them, and if they are not, we don't. If we consider the data items to be nodes and the similarities to be edges between the nodes, the data becomes a graph that we can represent by a matrix. In this case, it would be a 6 by 6 matrix, with a 1 for each connected pair of nodes. In this binary case, this matrix is called adjacency matrix, but this can be generalized to other similarity measures with arbitrary values. Thus, we call this the weight matrix W. Another matrix we need is the degree matrix D. It is a diagonal matrix with a number of edges per node as its values. You can get those values simply by summing over the weight matrix by rows or columns. Node 2, for instance, has two edges, while node 5 has four edges. For the Laplace and eigenmap, we now need the Laplace matrix, which is the difference between the degree and the weight matrix. Please note that the Laplace matrix is symmetric, which implies that it has real eigenvalues and a full set of real and orthogonal eigenvectors. What is not so obvious is the fact that the eigenvalues are all non-negative, which makes this matrix positive semi-definite. Eigenvalues and eigenvectors are solutions to the eigenvalue equation, and since we have a 6 by 6 matrix, we have 6 of them and we order them by increasing eigenvalue. The components of the eigenvectors are shown as big red dots. It can be shown that the normalized eigenvectors solve the following optimization problem. For each eigenvector alpha, the squared difference between components of connected nodes should be small, and those nodes that are connected in this graph, like 2 and 3, should be similar, while 6 and 1, for example, could be different. Interestingly, this objective function corresponds directly to the eigenvalues lambda. So this lambda literally uh, sort of corresponds to these lambdas here for the solutions. So if you take an eigenvector here, you put it in as a solution, the lambda that comes out is exactly the eigenvalue here. A trivial solution is obviously a constant vector, where all components have the same value, and as a result, lambda is zero. It is easy to see that the first eigenvalue is always zero, since the rows and columns of the Laplace matrix add up to zero by construction. Thus, multiplying the matrix with a one vector results in the zero vector and thus makes the one vector an eigenvector with eigenvalue zero. This is obviously not a very useful solution, so we discard it. The other eigenvectors, however, since they are orthogonal to the first one, are not constant and therefore informative and useful. The final step now is to combine corresponding components of the eigenvectors we consider two vectors for our data items. In this case, we have six two-dimensional vectors, and if we plot them in a two-dimensional vector space, we get a nicely structured embedding of our data items where similar items are close to each other, thus respecting the similarities in the data as far as possible. This can be used simply for visualization if the embedding space is one or two-dimensional, but it can also be used as a pre-processing step for non-vectorial data to be able to process the data further with methods that require vectorial data.